When it comes to Pokemon, who doesn't want to become the champion? After going through all those battles, we seek even more challenges and push through the Pokemon League to face their elite and toughest trainers. Of course, what better reward than coming face to face with their strongest member, the Pokemon League champion. Throughout 20 years of Pokemon, we have met many different champions with different roles and personalities. So today we're counting down my top 5 favorite. Let us begin, shall we? Diantha is the latest Pokemon champion. Overall, for me, Pokemon X and Y were great games. The dramatic change of graphics was breathtaking. Among all the new characters, we get to meet Diantha, who is not only the champion, but also a very popular movie star. Even though there's not much known about her background story, I really love the message she embodies. Even though she's young and beautiful, she's not afraid of getting old. As a matter of fact, she is looking forward to playing many different roles as she gets older. Leave it to Pokemon to send out a positive message. Generation 2 has to be the greatest of all time. Whoa, 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 guys, hold on your horsey. I don't want to start a debate yet because I'm going to be working on a top 5 best Pokemon games of all time. So please do not roast me right now. In the second generation, Lance from the original games has taken the role as the champion. Because Red was like, screw this, I want to get stronger, so let me go and get on top of that mountain. <clears throat> now for those who have played Gen 1, Dragon types were rare. And I mean rare because it was only the Dragonite line. Getting a Dratini was a bit of a challenge, not to mention getting them to evolve into Dragonite. And here we have this guy. Like, yeah, I got three of them and two are level 47, so screw the Pokemon official handbook. Having a battle with him was great, and could be challenging if you don't have ice moves with you. Steven Stone has to be the richest champion in the games. After all, his father is none other than the president of the Devon Corporation. But despite all of this, Steven is kind, smart, and quite a fun challenge. I really love that he's involved more in the main story, and thanks to Auras, the fight between Steven got even better. I mean, who doesn't love Mega Metagross, am I right? Don't answer the question. He focuses in Steel type, and his passion for rocks have made him come across games such as Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. He has class and willing to take you on with everything you got. Dick butt. Asshort? I think it was better known as Gary Mullo in Oak. Alright, I get it. We should call him Blue. He's the OG rival and to our surprise also the first ever champion. He is in this list for obvious reasons. We all wanted to kick his butt for being so cocky. After mocking us time after time throughout the entire game, it all rests in one last battle where we shut him down permanently. It was pretty epic for a young Obi. His theme was pretty diverse and the music theme was just pure gold. I have to be somewhat biased because Pokemon Red was my first game, but I know I'm not the only one that would put Blue pretty high up in their list. Cynthia will always hold the number one spot in my book, for many reasons. For starters, she was the very first female champion. Champions are supposed to represent strength and power, and Game Freak did an excellent job portraying a strong, independent woman without losing her feminine side. She played a huge role in the games and must have nothing but respect and admiration for this lady. She reminded me much of Blue because she brought a great adversary in her team, unlike the previous Lance and Steven who focused more on a specific type. From her annoying spirit Tom who had no weaknesses, to her aides, a level 66 guard chump that could easily destroy many of your teammates. For that and all the beautiful artwork, wink wink, Cynthia will always be the number one champion. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed my favorite top 5 Pokemon champions. I'm sure all of you guys have your own list, so let's hear it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time Pokemon fans.